Hey, welcome everyone. I want to talk about uh, harvesting cauliflower today. Um, with cauliflower, uh, basically you want to blanch the uh, the curd, and that's the the edible part of of the plant. Um, some types are self blanching. Um, this is actually the last cauliflower plant that I have for this year. It was supposed to be a self blanching, which means the leaves kind of cover the the curd. And it prevents the uh, the sun from kind of turning it yellow. Well, this particular variety for me didn't do so well this year. Uh, this was a snow crown, and um, I basically planted it a little bit later than I would have liked. So maybe that had something to do with it. Basically, the curd you don't want it to open up fully. Um, you know, you can't harvest cauliflower too early. Um, you want to, you know, you want it to get as big as possible, but you don't want it to go too long, or else it's going to get real bitter. Okay, so I've basically spread out the, uh, or, or pulled off the leaves of the plant, so you can see what's going on here. You're going to want to take a sharp knife and uh, basically cut at the base of the curd. Um, you're going to, you're going to get some of the leaves that are kind of around the curd, um, and that's okay. You just want to get to the base of the plant itself. And just take a sharp knife and just chop it off at the base. This particular curd is, uh, if you can look at it, it's just a little bit yellow. It'll still taste okay. But uh, this was kind of my first year doing cauliflower. And uh, like I said, I planted it late and that might have something to do with it. Next year, I'll be sure to tie up the leaves to, uh, to blanch the cauliflower. Just pull away the leaves. There you go. Nice piece of cauliflower. And then what I do is, uh, since cauliflower is not like broccoli, we're just going to rip the plant up. Um, cauliflower does not have, have uh, side shoots, so there's no sense in leaving the plant in the ground. Then that way you just make room for... Uh, for extra space in your garden. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.